afternoon. My name's Janet and I'm calling from Vermont North Montoya Market Research Company in Melbourne. Okay. Um, we're conducting a survey of people's opinions on the current economic climate. Okay. It takes approximately five minutes. Okay. Would you be interested in participating? Sure, I'll do your trade. Oh, okay, I'll try and do it in that. I, I've got a baby on the way and I've got a few I've got a few ideas for names for the baby. Oh, okay. So you sure you're for, okay to do this then? For, for each question I answer of yours, you've got to tell me what you think of a different baby name I have. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm the one that's supposed to be asking the questions. <laughs> Uh, it's okay. Just a yes or a no when, oh, when, it, when it comes that. to your turn. <laughs> um, so you, you go first. Oh, well, my supervisor may monitor the interview for quality control purposes. Okay, no problem. Yep, that wasn't a question that was just telling you. And this one is, could you please tell me into which age group you fall? So I've got 18 to 24, 25 to 34, 35 to 44, 45 to 49, 50 to 54. The second one, the... 25 to 34? That's the one. Thank you. And are you currently employed? Yes. And what's your current occupation, please? I'm an artist. Thank you. And um, so what industry would we put that you work in? Um, cultural. We'll cultural, put it under that yes. one. And if a federal election was held today, could you please tell me which party you personally would vote for? Liberal Party, Labor, Nationals, Greens, Independents or One Nation? Yeah, smash up the Greens. Uh, thank you. And about your home, is your home rented, owned but with a mortgage or loan, or owned outright? I rent. Thank you. Put it under rent. And now a couple of questions about your household. Could you please tell me... What do you think of the name Dodd Bradman? No, that's a big no, I think, don't you? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, see, now, look, we've probably got different opinions about... No, that's all right. No, that's... Look, that was just off the top of my head. <laughs> OK, your, your turn. Oh, good. Um, now a couple of questions about your household. Could you please tell me how many people, including yourself, live in the household? Two. Two, thank you. Okay, what about Kathy Freeman? Is that a better name for a baby? Oh, no, what are you? <laughs> Not really. Oh. Okay. oh, yeah. Okay, your turn. Yeah, and how many, including yourself, are 18 more years or more old as of today? So you're both 18 or over? Yes. Thank you. Okay, what about Tim Allen? Oh, I think that's a big no, hey? Okay. <laughs> Nothing, um, you know, that's not someone else's name that you can think of. Something I thought these were original names. Yeah, that might oh. be maybe, or, you know, yeah. Mm. And could you please tell me what the combined household pre-tax income is? Is it under 50000 over 50000 or more than 100000 Uh, Between the two of us. Yeah, that would be both of you combined. Yeah, I'd estimate probably... 150,000 a year? Yeah. 150k? 150 yep. G we'll, or something like that? We'll put more than 100,000. Okay, what about what about Julia Roberts? <laughs> you don't even have to ask for my opinion on that one. Okay. And could oh, you it's please that good? tell me your postcode? 2296. Thank you. And about how people are getting along financially these days, would you say you're better off financially or worse off than what you were at this time last year? Um, or maybe the same. Actually, I'm I'm better off. Better off. This time last year, my wife left me with two hundred dollars in the bank. Oh, that you, well sounds like you're definitely better off than then. That's all right. It's not her that's pregnant though. Oh, it's someone else. No, because if if I had a baby to her, I think I'd call it Charles Manson. <laughs> that's not a very feminine name, is it? No, well. It'd, it'd be a boy, uh, I guess. And looking ahead to this time next year, do you expect to be better off financially, worse off, or about the same as now? I'm shooting for better off. Better off. Yeah. And thinking of economic conditions in Australia as a whole, during the next 12 months, do you expect we'll have good times financially or bad times? As a country? Yeah, as a country, as a whole. Um, uh, we've got good times, good with qualifications, some good, some bad, bad with qualifications or bad times. Oh, I think overall Austra the Australian public and, and the politicians and I think as a, as a general, 
you know, round way of me saying that, I, look, it's going to be great. I think we've all just got such wonderful attitudes and we're all so positive and we're hard workers and we like to have a couple of beers at night. Sure, who doesn't? But I think we all get up with a bit of a hangover. We go to work, we do our jobs and we're going to be great. I reckon we're going to be okay. We're going to be good. We're going to be good. Oh, good. We'll put good times there. Good times. And now looking ahead, what would you say is more likely that in Australia as a whole we'll have continuous good times during the next five years or so or we'll have some bad times? Uh, you know, I th I'm sort of middle of the road there. Like, yeah. I know we've got the positive attitude, but you just never know when an earthquake's going to kick in, some nasty floods, you know, Queensland, yeah. they're really damp up there, moist bastards that they are. So you never know. So yeah. I, th I think generally we'd be shooting for something good, but if a natural disaster kicks in, who, who can say? I'll, I'll, yeah, we've you know. had a few of those lately yeah. too, haven't we? Yeah. But you want me to put some good some bad then? Yeah, I think that's perfect. Bit of a mixture. I, I think I'm, I'm overall optimistic. Yeah. But, you know, natural disasters, you can't pick them, can you? Can't you pick sure them. can't. No. They hit you when you least expect it. What about uh, Tom Cruise? Would that be a good name oh, for Oh, no, thinking not. Oh. No, okay. something like you said, a bit more original. Okay. Thomas Cruise. What was that, sorry? Thomas Cruise. Oh, maybe Last name Kenneth. drop that second name and just go with the first. Thomas Kenneth. Uh, and next about the major things people buy for their homes, speaking generally, do you think now is a good time or a bad time for people to buy major household items? Major household items, like a yeah, fridge like or a, a washing fridge, machine? A washing machine. Look, my, my um, washing machine just went up the pooper this afternoon, so oh, I think well, now's a great, a great time to be buying white goods. <laughs> and um, generally speaking, do you think now is a good time or a bad time for people to buy a dwelling? Um, I, look, if, if you're homeless, which I, I've been in this situation, I would suggest that is a great time to buy a home. <laughs> if you already have one, perhaps you can just look, just look at what you got maybe be happy with what you got and settle and leave the, the the houses that need to be bought I say we just leave them for homeless people to buy oh ok it sounds like a good idea yeah. and about the car market do you think the next 12 months will be a good time or a bad time for people to buy a car that's a good question so would you say now would be a good time to do that or a bad time um, yeah, well, I guess, like, because I've got to make a general assumption about the Australian public, don't I? Well, this is more on the car market we're just, talking just about. Just me. I, but, I reckon I'd shoot for something second-hand. Yeah? Yeah. Yep, yeah, so good then. Yeah. And now about people being out of work during the coming 12 months, do you think there'll be more unemployment than now, about the same or less? Uh, probably... I, oh, what what does the last year look like? Do you know? I can't say. Uh, <laughs> I have to ask you. Look, I, I I've remained employed during that time. I expect yeah. to be to remain employed over the next year. So I, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. Actually, I went out and did a few hours for free today, so that's got to look good. But I reckon I'm keeping does. my job. But yeah. Do you yeah. want me to put about the same then? Yeah. But unemployment. Thank yeah. you. And now I'd like to find out what you think will happen to prices. Thinking about the prices of the things you buy, by this time next year, do you think they'll have gone up, down or stayed the same? Look, um, everything goes up. E ever since I was born, 34 years ago, prices have inflated. It's they certainly have. Yep, <laughs> it's a fact of and life. What percentage do you think prices went up by this will go up by this time next year. Probably a shitload. <laughs> so how many percent would you say that is? Uh, eight. Eight? Eight. Thank you. I'm now that guy that can say, I used to catch the bus out to Spears Point for 20 cents, get into the pool for another 20 cents, yeah. buy myself a red skin for five cents. Oh, Ooh, you won't get that. Day out on a dollar. Yeah. You... That was only 20 years ago. 
like to find out what you think happened to prices. So compared to this time last year, do you think prices have gone up, down or stayed the same? They've gone up. And again, by it's what? A, it's a fact of life, isn't it? Yep, sure. What's your name, sorry? Can't stop it, can you? What's your name, sorry? Janet. Hi, Janet. Hi, how are you going? I'm well. I'm oh, Grant, by the way. sound like you, you are that. too. Pardon? You sound like you are very well. I am. I'm having a fine day. It sounds like you're having a good day. And so what percentage do you think prices will have gone up since this time last year? Yeah, we'll, we'll shoot with the eight. We'll go, yeah, it sounds like a good figure. Yeah. And then are you self-employed? So you're an artist, so yes. you would be self-employed? Mm -hmm. Thank you. And just one final question. Over the next 12 months, do you expect standard variable mortgage interest rates to rise by more than 1%, rise by 0 to 1%, stay the same, fall by 0 to 1%, or fall by more than 1%? No, it will rise. And would you say zero to one? Yeah. Or the zero to one? Because the banks are bastards. <laughs> and would I be able to get your first name, please? Yes, it's Garant. G-E-R-A-N-T. G-E-R-A-N-T. Oh, look, thank you very much for your help with this grant, and I hope you fight, come up with a better names than the one <laughs> I was suggesting. Thank you, Janet. Thank you for <laughs> helping me out on that. Pleasure. You've made it very entertaining. Well, that, that little name that I gave you, Garant, that's my name, G-E-R-A-N-T. Yes. I highly recommend you um, jot it into YouTube sometime when you're on the internets next. See what it means. Yeah. Oh, don't see oh. what it means. Uh, not on Urban Dictionary. Put it into YouTube. I make videos. Oh, okay. You I will then. I'll have a look. You may enjoy them. Okay, then we'll see what type they are. <laughs> Okay then, Grant. You have a great day. Thanks very much for all your help. Thanks, Janet. You've been a dollar. Love you. No worries. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Kisses. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Love you. Oh, I hope you see this, Janet. You're wonderful. Thank you. Couldn't have done it without you. Here's to Australia. Love you, Australia. Go gold. Huh?